Spooky boy. You're so good. Hey. I absolutely live for days like today. It's cool, but it's not cold. Let's try that again. I absolutely, I absolutely live for days like today. I, uh, I'm gonna get into some milling here, keep on working on building on cutting some of the stuff for the barn. It's that early spring when it's nice and cold in the morning. It warms up to t-shirt weather in the afternoon and then it chills out in the evening. Perfect weather. Perfect weather to get some milling done.
Look at that. Three, six, nine, twelve. Twelve four by fours. Uh, I think maybe, maybe two hours for twelve four by fours. Not too shabby at all. And those are four by fours. Those are real pieces of wood. Um, pretty excited to put those in my barn. And those are gonna be the posts for the pole barn. They're also large, so they're rot resistant. So that'll help too. It's just, the 28 is just a little heavy. You know, it's upside down. Yeah. It's okay, I put it like that on purpose. No. Every time you switch a chain, you flip it over so oh. that you get the even wear. Yeah. Okay. And then when you tighten it up, you want the tip to be elevated. Oh, okay. And that stops the chain from having extra slack. Okay. And then we go to like right there, right? Yeah. Yeah, You when you pull the center up, you want the uh, middle of the tooth just kind of sticking out a little bit. Okay. And normally when I hook, do my saw upside down, it gives you the same thing as if pulling the tip up like I'm doing for you here. Oh, I see. So that's so you usually do it upside down. So that yeah, so it just saves me a step. Or I'll hold the saw and I'll rest the tip on the stump. Okay. But that's uh although because there's a little bit of play in the bar, and then when you do it that way, it helps. Okay. And so, then you also have to tighten it after it's uh after it breaks in. This is a new chain. Yeah. And you gotta wait till it's cold enough to touch with your fingers. Because <laughs> of the expansion contraction. Right, 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 right. Okay.
like holding one. Yeah, still pretty thick, but that's what holds your control on the tree. Right, right, right. So you're better to whack a couple wedges as long as it's not overly thick. Yeah, yeah, okay. You separated and popped the gate off for the next one. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for, for the one? Okay. Do we want to try to rig one of these down or do you think the wind is not a good idea? Mm. Truck is going pretty straight up. We have limb weight. Yeah. And it's breezy. Okay. So we just got to be careful with our holding wood. And work the wind. Yeah, okay. 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 Are you going to? If you're confident, I'm confident. Um, you want to cut it? Or do you want me to cut it? I should probably let you cut it. Are you cool to cut I'm it? Fine. Yeah, I'm fine. If you're cool good. to cut it. Yeah. I, I would. I, I can have experience in different places that aren't so critical. Yeah. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> it more if it was in you such a cool. high risk area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But holding was a little thick. Sweet. Well, let's well, climb it. Climb it, okay. Yes. 
here because it's a little bit on an angle. Take more. Like, for yeah, sure. I go back a little more. Yeah, yeah. The stem's not moving much. Okay. I'd like to see it. When it moves. I want to see it shift slightly. Yeah, yeah. So this tree is a little more scary because it leans towards the house, which is why we really want to get it out. And um, so we've got a line tied up, uh, a rope on the tree, and we're pulling it with the tractor. So there's some tension pulling it away from the house. And then we've got our neighbor here who is a very skilled faller to um, take care of it. So yeah, we're lucky to have him around. <laughs> So this tree actually had some rot in it, so uh, it's very good that we cut it out. This is definitely a risky tree to have near the house, so very glad that it's gone and that went smoothly. I think our fence post might be a little broken, but whew.
again. This way. No one go on. Go on. I'll just kick him off the back. The whole fucking city is inside, eh? Thank you. 